Okay, so our young adult group asked another question here at the Lady Lake Seventh-day Adventist Church in Lady Lake, Florida. And that question was about clean and unclean foods in light of, and the quote that was given to me, in light of Jesus saying, it's not what enters into a man that makes him unclean. So get your Bibles out. We're going to Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7, and I'm going to read just that particular passage, Mark 7, verse 14. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. If any man have an ear to hear, let him hear. That's John or Mark rather 7. Verses 14 to 16. So why would Jesus say that? Why is Jesus talking about what goes into a man not defiling him? Because of what the Pharisees asked him earlier in that chapter. I don't believe this chapter is talking about whether God has now changed the way that stomachs process food. Because in the Old Testament, in the book of Leviticus, it's very easy for us to define in Leviticus chapter 11 what is a clean food and an unclean food. So is Jesus here in Mark 7 saying that we can eat anything we want to? That God changed somebody's stomach when Jesus died on the cross? Or is Jesus talking about a different issue that the Pharisees had brought up earlier? So still in Mark 7, it says this. Mark 7, verse 1. Then he came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashed hands, they found fault. So Jesus is not here addressing the Leviticus chapter 11 health laws. Jesus is here addressing a tradition of the Pharisees and the um, scribes. Is that who we are here? Yeah, the Pharisees and the scribes came from Jerusalem. He's addressing their tradition of washing their hands before they eat. Now, your mom and my mom, or your dad and my dad, always told us, wash your hands before you eat. That's just like a timeless principle, right? Because then whatever's on your hands doesn't get on your food and doesn't go inside of you. Well, Jesus is addressing that issue, but he's the, there, there was such a particular idea from the scribes and the Pharisees about washing your hands and how if you didn't, you would be defiled or to be lost. And Jesus addresses it this way. In verse 9, Jesus says, Full well, I'll start in verse 8. Jesus says, Laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. And he said in verse 9, Full well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. So Jesus here, in the context of Mark chapter 7, is not getting rid of the health laws that we are introduced to in the Old Testament. And we could talk about that in Acts chapter 10 with Peter and the sheet coming down. Rise, Peter, kill and eat. We can talk about that, but not during this five minutes. So you're going to have to come back later to get that part. So Jesus here is addressing tradition and tradition being elevated above a thus saith the Lord. So, we can have traditions. Traditions are helpful. We have traditionally a meal at Thanksgiving. We traditionally gather around holiday times. You may have church traditions in your church. Those traditions are fine until it contradicts a thus saith the Lord. And so the Pharisees and scribe had asked Jesus about why the disciples were becoming defiled by eating food with unwashed hands. And Jesus said, that's a tradition that you're elevating above it. Thus saith the Lord. And so to get that entire context, just go to Mark chapter 7. And uh, I don't know, text us a question or something. God bless. Have a great day.